Hello and welcome to episode 274. We're going to do a book with an interactive index. Pretty quick one, as you can see, we've only got one command we're going to do. Here's my book. It's got a rubbish title. And so this is our index. So we'd have sort of like page two. And if we wanted, since this is Telraw, we could change its color. We could make it green, uh, put a little underline under it or something, or just say go to page two. And so if you've just got two pages, you might as well just use this. But let's say you had 30 odd pages. We can click on this and it'll take us straight to page two. And on this page, we can have a back button as well to take us back to page one. Handy if you've got a long book. Very nice. Okay, this won't take long at all to make. Let's get on with it. All right, let's make it then. We uh, just pop down one command block because that's all we're going to need. And it will be my give command. And I'm going to give myself or give the nearest player, which is me, a written book. And let's pop some information in. Uh, I'll have a title and I'm just going to call it my title. You can put whatever you want, obviously. And same for author. I'm just going to put my author. There we go. And we want some information about the pages. And that's a list. Okay. So I'm going to have two pages. So I'm going to do apostrophe, apostrophe, comma, apostrophe, apostrophe. Now inside the apostrophes, I'm going to put some square brackets and some square brackets. Those are my two pages. Page one. Here we go. This is page one. That's page one. And the other one is page two. So in page one, I am going to have some text that'll go in that one and I'll have some text with a click event that'll go in that one and on page two I'm just going to have some text I think so let's fill those in so this will be text and we'll do the other easy one as well page two this will be text Okay, let's put the click event in there as well. So this will have text and the click event. Okay, commands will be in description, obviously, so you can uh, have a look at it. So this bit here is text. Our text will go in here, randomly in there. And this bit will be the click event. <laughs> nice. The click event. Okay. For our click event, what action would we like to take? We would like to change the page. And what will the value be? What page number do we want to go to? Now, this doesn't start like an array. It doesn't start at zero. If you want to go to page two, put two. We don't have to put one. Right, let's fill in our text. So we've got two bits here to fill in. The first one is going to be index. This is my index. And now I want to go down two lines. So I'm going to do two of those. There we go. And an N. You can't see it. Go away, cursor. There we go. And I'm going to do that again. So that's gone down one line. Go down two lines. Then we'll put our next bit of text, which I'm going to say page two. Uh, boom, boom, there we go. And on page two, I'm going to put, uh, I don't know, this is page two. <laughs> That'll do. Right. In a minute, we'll, we'll have a look at what these are doing. These little slash slash ends, we'll take them out. But let's give it a try for that. Right, there's my book. It says my title, and it's by my author, so that's fine. Let's open it. Uh, index. Now, if I click on where it says page two, it takes me to page two. And on page two, I can have one that says back and takes me back to the index. Obviously, we're only going back one page, so we can just use the, the arrow that's already there. But if you were jumping ahead to page 20 or 30, you might want to put a back button as well so they don't have to scroll all the way back. 
Nice, quick, and easy. You can see where we've done the slash slash n. We've done it once to go down from index to the next line. Then we've done it again to go to the next line. So if we take one of those out, now we're only going to go down one line. If I give myself that book, you'll see they're right next to each other now. And if I take the other one out, I think you can guess what it's going to do. It's just going to write them all on the same line, or it's going to try to if they fit. They do fit, so it's just that's what the slash n is doing. Each slash n is moving it down a line. Cool. There we go. Just a nice little quick one. Uh, resting my voice up a bit. Uh, which button do I press? That one. Seems to have lost my brain. There we go. Cool. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.